it's your boy guapo man welcome back to my channel you guys in today's video as you can see man i have my f10 let me show you look who i have here, right i have my f10 right here with me bro but as you can see man i have a problem that's going on bro that is not supposed to be there so I'm gonna give y'all a little rundown of how it happened. That goes on the 535 and the 528 at the same time. I think they're the same hoses, right? So let me get up in the hood and show you what we need to do. All right. Gotta grab our old Lipa hoses, so. All right, as you can see, you guys, in today's video, I'll be changing the the bottom holes on my BMW F10, right? So I'm gonna show you guys what you need to change. These are the tools you're gonna be needing today. It's gonna be the 17 millimeter. I got a, what's this, a, T20, a T25 or a T15. It's gonna be one of them. I think it's a T25 on here though. Got a T25, I got a flat hand screwdriver. The holes we're going to change is not any of this that is here is that it's actually behind here. I don't think you can see it. It's all the way down there. Where my finger is going, it's gonna be right there. I'm gonna remove all of this and get it replaced. So stay tuned. All right, let's get it, man. I gotta keep working, bro. Throughout it all. First thing you want, the 17 millimeter. Get rid of this. This is the sway bar, you know? This is the sway bar. I ain't going to take it off. I'm going to just kind of move it out of the way, but hold up. Second thing is I'm going to take off the vacuum hose, right? The vacuum vent clip right here. Pull it off. Some people watching me right now. That's why I'm not focusing. I ain't going to take this off. I'm going to just move this out of the way. It's kind of like twisted out of the way. And now you have access to here. So then, let's see if I can get you guys a bit. So after removing this hose, we're going to want to have, what's this, a 10, 10 millimeter. But mine, mine over here is actually kind of loose already. So I'm going to just use my finger and take it off. I kind of cracked them the other day when I was looking through it. Put it back together. Make sure you put down your parts that you keep in. Safe spot. Now, you know, disconnect from here. You're gonna loosen this first. Obviously, I did already. Again, it's my second time going in here. Then, voila, you have replaced. Oh my god, look in here. I might have to get this looked at too. Probably just need to be changed. What? All right. So here we at now. All right. We can probably see a little better right here. So the holes that we are actually changing. It is under here. Take this out. So so the holes we're actually going to be changing is the one that's between these. So I don't know if I can see it in camera for you guys. Let's see if I get the camera a little closer. It's going to be that hose in the back. I don't know if you can see it, you guys, but it's that hose. Let me see if I can touch it with my finger first. Let me see. It's going to be this hose all the way down here. It is under here. I don't think you guys could see it, but I'm hoping if I could just remove this one, this whole thing right. I'm gonna move this first. I take off this. You know. Take off this, so I have space right here. 
and then move ours so just remove this one from off of there because this is the only one that's in my way a little key and it's really not in my way it's these right here so probably pull this one and this one pull these two these two i don't have the clearance to pull the clip this one this one let me see i probably don't even need them let me see so so the first thing you're going to want to do is pull the clip for the top holes right here i took it off this an ankali nipple this nipple right here pull the clips i was going to take this one off too but i am not going to take this one off instead i'm gonna just remove this one down here i already got the clip kind of pulled on there now i'm going to wiggle it off so it have me more space so i can get to this this one right here you see it's all the way under there Hopefully, I might have to loosen these two and take this to the other side so I can get more space, but we'll see. I'll be right back if I get it, when I take it off. Let me see if I can set it up. I can't set the camera up so you guys can see while I'm like holding it. That shit does all what I showed you guys, you know what I mean? Don't mind the noise you hear in the background. It's just some, some, some bullshit going on, you know? Yeah, trying to work. As I said, I had the goal for the penetration blaster. You know what I mean? Yeah, we penetrated a little bit. This will help to loosen it up at least a little bit, bro. Because look, it's not moving. Let that sit for a good 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll try again a little bit. So look bro, I'm having some problem right now. I had to go for the penetration blaster, bro. I gotta penetrate it a little bit because bro, that hose is not moving right now. Let me show you what's going on. If y'all missed that your boy Guapo is back, man. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm back, I'm back this time for good. I ain't even gonna say that, bro. Y'all just gonna know I'm back, you know what I mean? Y'all gonna see me a lot more. I've been clearing my head space. It's getting right, bro. Trying to get a good mental going and just keep it going, bro. Today I'm working on my car and as you can see, I took a bad situation and turned it into good. So let's get it, man. Y'all will learn something with me too because I've been searching the internet for this car and I can't find it. I've been searching the internet for this hose change and I can't find it, you guys. So make sure if you're new to watch time, I hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I got my E90 right here too. You know what I mean? We got the E90 right here, still clean, still running strong. You know, maybe in the future, I'll give it away to one of y'all. If y'all just run me up, just run up the like button, run up the subscribe button. I'm about to be back, bro, to work and see, I'm already sweating out here, fam. I'm sweating for y'all, bruh. Sweat, Fortnite, sweat. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get it. Woo! So this is what I did, you guys. I that is the hose we are going to change right there. As you can see, I've pulled the clip off of it. I just stick the little screwdriver, probably a short screwdriver, and then stick your hand down there without removing all these hoses and everything. I kind of snuck my hand around there and got it now i'm gonna pull it off and take it off from under the bottom and then you guys will see when we get over here to the other radiator to take off the other side yeah so while i'm waiting on the penetration you know the only thing we like penetrate that the lead is in a straight up you know what i mean only thing i like to penetrate is the ladies anything else you can't, you, can't, you can't even call my name no more. But it's your boy Guapo, man. I'm back, bro. I'm trying to drop these bangers for y'all. Trying to just, you know, run it up. I'm trying to just start putting in that work, bro. I'm trying to get back to my old self. You know, so this is it. Back on the YouTube, back working on cars. Back doing me. So let's get it, man. If you're new to the fam, hit the like button, subscribe button. And let's get it. I'm gonna wait 10 more minutes on the penetration blast to dry and then we'll go from there so let's get it bro all right so i had to remove the oil line right do you remember that hose that i took off the top i had the low key like push it under here to get it over here so i pushed it under to get it out of the way 
So I had place to like grab the hose. I was grabbing those, grabbing those, and I just muscled up and just plucked it off. But if you ain't got that muscle power, I don't think you're gonna take it off, to be honest. So make sure if you're a girl, make sure you go grab your dad. And if you're a boy, make sure you eat your cabbage, your spinach. Yeah, let's get it, man. Now, as you can see in the bottom right here, I got it all the way at the bottom. Down there, pulled out, almost to drop to the floor, and I'm gonna pull it out from under there and show you guys. So let's get it, man. Like a proud dad, I just did that just now. I ain't even going loud, boy. Look. So this is the hose that's causing all the problem. And then when you come over here, it's attached to a second radiator that's under there. Let me see if I can get a better shot for you guys. It's attached to a second radiator under here. So I'm gonna have to probably jack this tire up and then I will see the radiator. I think that's how it goes. I think I can see it from now. I'll probably just take it down now, to be honest. Hold up, let me see what's going on, you guys. Let me see if I have to take the tire off. I think I do. Well, under further inspection, you guys, I'm gonna have to jack the car up. Got my jack already placed. Jack the car up. The second radiator is located right behind these vents right here behind the front tire. Strange, right? But I guess that's where the other hose is at, connected connection, so. I'm gonna have to jack the tire up. I wanted to take this tire off anyway to see what's really going on under here. You know, but I have to take the tire off and get to the other side of the radiator hose. And Yo, so look, man, if your boyfriend didn't teach you or your girlfriend didn't teach you, cause I know that a lot of you guys out here, y'all don't even know how to work on cars, but guess what? I got you, man. If your boyfriend didn't teach you how to jack up a car, watch me right now. You're gonna aim the jack right in there. It has a spot under the car, I already got mine set. Right, you're gonna aim the car. It has every car has a jack spot under there for you to use, you know what I mean? So make sure is it recording in slow-mo? I think so, but make sure you get it right up under there to the right spot. You come right here, you tighten up the jack, make sure it's tight, and then you jack it up. But before you jack the car up off the floor, you're going to want to loosen the tires because when you go up in the sky, it's just gonna be spinning and spinning and spinning. So let's get it, man. I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of that. So let's get it. I'm gonna do that real quick. I think it's a 17 or an 18 I'm supposed to use, but if not, that'll be good. Without further ado, man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy Guapo, man. I like to wear gloves when I work on the car, bro, because I don't like the all of the excess dirt to be getting under my nails. Call me bougie if you want, but you already know what it is. Keep it clean, bro. Let's get it. The package. The package has just came, you know? Look what it says on there, bro. Look what my package said, man. Thank you. Perfect timing. As soon as I'm finished, about to get finished, taking off the other side, I have to drop the car off and take this side off. But other than that's it, we'll be good. So let's get it, man. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button and subscribe button. I'm gonna show you how to change your bottom radiator hose on your F10. Let's get it. Just came. I just wanted to take a quick break to say, man, yo, just shout out to everybody who keeps on, yo, DMing me. Yo, Malik, you're good. Malik, you straight where, where the video is at. You know what I mean? I ain't give up on the dream yet, you guys. I'm gonna still keep going, bro. I'm gonna make sure of it, you know? But again. You see, if your girlfriend or your boyfriend never teach you how to take a tire off, right? You're gonna jack the car up first, halfway, just under the car, basically level with the car. Take the nuts off, as you can see right here. I got my bolts out. And then you jack the car up fully. As you can see, I'm doing right now. You know what I mean? If you make a movie, if you mean it. What we gonna call it? What for the movie? All right, the car ain't up off the floor enough yet. That tire flat. Oh, oh no. It fell off the jack, bro. Fell 
off the jack, you guys. Yes, sir. Uh, is it going to happen again? Don't look so. Yeah, I'm going to go to the jack There we go. Tire off the ground. And then you just lift it off. Yeah. Yeah, look like that. Two tire, one tire, and you know, two tire. Yeah. Now I can have access to that vent that I need. Hey, hey, hey. Now I can have access to that vent that I need. All right. So without further ado, man, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys how I could do this, and if I could do it, you could do it too. So let's get it, bro. So as I got the tire off, right, I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna have to take this whole thing off or at least get behind it. I think this is what, an eight millimeter? Eight millimeter bone, pull right here. Get on there. I'm doing it one-handed. Let me pull it and it'll get back to you guys. That's oh, good. So once you've come right here, pull the eight millimeter, you can kind of scheme your way behind here and like see the, the, the top of it. I'm gonna use the screwdriver again to just pluck that little release right there and then remove the holes. And then you guys could basically figure it out, man. You're gonna retrace this whole process backwards again, put back all your hoses over there and you'll be good. Yes, sir. So, but all right. This part of the day. Hope this hose is correct. But everything goes smooth. I, mean, I already pulled down this whole car. So, let's check it, man. Yeah. Again, protection and double wrap it. Wrap it up, you kids. Wrap it up, kids. Double wrap this one. Stuck on the glove. All right, let's see if it's the right one. So, let's see if it's the right one. Careful now, you don't want to cut the holes. I can't even get it. Oh, it's about to see if I have to cut all the way down. They left any money in there? No money? Right. It looks the same. All right. This is the one that goes up to the radiator. And this is the one that goes to the second radiator. So it goes back in this way. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you the process how I do it right now. So let's get it, man. So I've pulled the clip from right there. I got off the hose. Now it's time to replace it. It dropped and it was rubbing on the highway right here. See, I got it duct tape. I had to duct tape it and keep on throwing water in the car to get it home, man. But obviously I didn't live more than, I worked about 20 minutes away from here. So it wasn't that too much off a bad drive to get home. But from then, it's been parked then. I've been low-key mad at this car, but it's time to get it back on the road, so let's get it, man. I'm about to show you. I'm about to connect back the hoses and run it back up and start it, start put some coolant in, and then let's see what happens. So, y'all, I've made it to the end of the video. All I did was retrace my steps. I had to fish it through the hole and connect the hose right here. But as you can see, man, I am completely finished. If you're new to my channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy, Guapo Man. F10 video. If you want to see more F10 videos, hit man. If you like this video, bro, if you want me to keep on working on my cars and just uploading video, if you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, you said, boy, guapo, man, I ain't even going to say too much. I'm gone.